there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lava, or also known as Hea Mocha Liba. But right now, we're, as you can see, we're beating up the Ukrainians just because we love to. We've already... Wow. We've done a lot of casualties already. 170,000? Nice. Also, part of it is because they were literally doing forest defense against us, and, well, that really didn't work out very well for them, as you can tell right now by the casualty amount that they have currently racked up, in which they have a total of five divisions max now, so... Yeah. That's great stuff. But we just did finish up this focus right here. Weltenbrand Project. But let's go ahead and do a new carabiner. Well, the 98K is a very good gun. We should go with the times to develop new weapons for our soldiers. We don't want the capital style gunners after all. And maybe after that one. We did all this stuff. Oh, hello, where we go? And we did all that stuff. So let's keep on the left side, maybe. Um, ban unions? The unions are an important part of the socialist movement under capitalism, but after re reaching socialism, there's no need for that anymore. They, are, they only hinder our buildup. We should replace them with one great socialist Arbeit's front. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. So after this, we'll go to war with Belarusia Democratic Republic, go to war with the Russian Union Empire, and see where we're at after that. Ah, sub has been destroyed. Very good. Beautiful. More infantry? Sure, why not? Cool, and they should be given up very soon. 180,000, we literally killed off every single division that they have, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And let time go on so that we can go ahead and do this too. Even though we would like to go to war with Montenegro, we'll have to wait a little bit. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to war with the UK, we'll just go to war with Austria and Reich first. Maybe Yugoslavia too. Maybe both at the same time. Yugoslavia, of course. Are these guys... No, how are these guys fighting... Oh, Tesla's leading that. Uh, how are they fighting Austrian Empire without fighting the other dudes. Oh, that's good to get too. Nice. Um, grab some of that as well. Let's see. Some better mediums. Yes, please. So these tank divisions. Uh, this is definitely a mixed bag. We have some mechanized, which are actually looking pretty darn, pretty darn swell. I'm not going to lie. Mobilized, mechanized. Why not? Mechanized. Let's convert them all to mechanized. We should be good on that, right? We barely are, but we are. Regardless. Light SP artillery? Let's go medium SP artillery. Can we afford that one? Fuel usage does go up. No, we're doing it anyways. Light tanks are fine. Medium tanks are not looking so good, so we have to wait for that one. Let time go on, just because we can. And get some better chaos. Because we can. Better carrier fighters? Oh, yes, please. You guys have no orders, which we need to change up. And you guys go right there. Spain, Portugal, and all them. And make sure that they're all Panthers. A new carabiner. Uh, let's see. Patriotic duty. Uh, I, th I think I read this one. Yes. Yes. <coughs> and then patriotic duty. Every German has to know that every bully he creates, every movie makes on the assembly line is a great service to the fatherland. Yay. Yay. And we'll do that. 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 That was a continue with suicide pills. Yum. Alright, so what do we have here? More, more infantry? That's fine with us. Oh, another carrier perhaps too. Oh, delightful. Absolutely delightful. Go ahead and train for now. Nice. And actually, with a million manpower still, that's pretty darn good. We still have to make more heavy holes, but we'll get there eventually. We will. I promise you that. Making a lot of infrastructure as well. But just in case, get some more of this. Oh, hello. And get some more of uh, cities. Get more millies too. You can still use them. Ban the unions. Yay, we love banning unions. Um, there was one comment saying like, uh, oh, yes, we can go to war them. Good. Um, do this mod, just uh, Red Flood still work at the time of this recording? At the time of this recording, it does, as you can tell, like I'm, I'm actually playing it, and it's most recently updated, but the Hanukkah movement. Our comrade Adolf Hanukkah, a Westphalian coal miner has mined 387% more coal than the norm. We should all strive to be more like him. We should also support a movement impressed by service for the proletarian revolution. Let's encourage our workers to work even harder. Yay. Uh, if we're going to just find anybody, we can go to war with these guys anyways, right? Yeah. Austrian Reich is fine. We have about another year. What is this? Lend these. There you go. I can't imagine it's going to take too much time here. Could be wrong, though. We are missing some tanks. And apparently a lot of anti-air as well, so... There you go, do that too. There you go. 
Yeah, let me just flood on in. The suicide pills are yummy. Oh, it's a glitch. We still can't see that again? God dang it. That sucks. So we're done with the air doctrine, which is weird to say, because usually I don't get that one done quickly, so... Yeah, let's do that one too. Get more naval doctrine stuff going. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah, they don't have really much of a chance to beat us up, which is awesome. Ah, just absolutely beautiful, my friends. Actually, since we're here, we're going to need a pretty good, uh, huh, line to get some Soviet boys, or those Russian boys, not Soviets. There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. And we got more equipment, too. Which is awesome, because now we're going to go to war with the Russians. Maybe we'll go to war with the Ottomans. We'll see about that. I'm not really sure yet. Now we're Turks, I guess I should really say. Um, we'll see. That's why I wanted to build the infrastructure up now. Just so that we are ready to go when we do break out with war. There you go. Five, five, five. Spirit industry is very good. Let's grab some more cap as well. And after the patriotic duty, of course, we'll do that one as well. But we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Sh should be making us feel very, very good. Uh, yeah, we might as well wait to get this one done first. We'll get more, a lot more output growth. But I do want to focus a little more on the Navy, maybe, or the Air Force. One of those two. A little more airfields, air dreadnoughts. Uh, Volksmarine. The Navy was the crown jewel of the Empire, but the Republic needs no jewelry. We only need steel to destroy our enemies. Very true. Alright, and now what? Oh, there goes Japan declaring war on China. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And are we pretty much ready to go? Hopefully we are. Oh, okay, well good luck with that. Gives a little bit of time here to figure out where they're all at. We, supplies will be quite bad probably around here for quite a while. But, that's never stopped us before. We're doing a lot better around here. We need way more tanks. Ooh, SBGs. Low artillery by five more. Um, yeah, go by five more as well. There you go. That should help us out just slightly more. How strong are these guys? Led by, oh, Anastasia, the first. Mladorosi, huh? That's a lot of manpower. Do we have enough planes to contest them? That's a real question. No, we don't. All right. One, two, three. All right, you do that too. It's fine. Deploying, deploying, deploying. Over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Naval bombers. We're going to throw a lot of naval bombers when we fight the UK. So, do we really don't have a lot of extra planes, huh? A couple of interwar fighters. Three. Two. One. Let's go on in. Actually, these guys are positioned over here too, which is not bad, but so. And if it's the Straits Commission, which is fine. Finland is a colony. Siberian General Government, that's fine. Don't care. We're gonna lose a lot of this territory, but I don't really care, to be honest. Nice. Very good. So that stuff is all good. Let's keep going with the Naval Doctrine, too, at the same time. Of course, we get these divisions as soon as we go to war with someone else. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, Russian sub stuff. Nice. It's definitely a mixed bag right now. Oh, I think we're doing pretty darn well, though. Air power wise, we definitely have air superiority, yeah. That's actually. Wow, 30? We saw 30 there for a flash. Oh, yeah, Brazil's over here helping us out, which. Thank you, Brazil. Yeah, but that side's pretty much just nothing but distractions for us, so. Thanks. Thank you, anyways. Look at that. More subs. Yay. Lots of subs. And sinking them, too. Alright, Falk. Anything here? No? Fleetrush? Yes. And Stelman? Nothing. Alright, that's fine. Nice. Von Munchstein's doing a great job. <coughs> He's pushing all the way over. Actually, do we have the... No, we do not. Darn it. That sucks. I have you guys come over here so we can clean this guy, these guys up.
Come on, if we can get in there, we can circle that division and kill them off, but I guess not. Philippines, Philippine technique. Oh, they died too. What's this? Ukrainian? Uh, gray Ukraine. Sure, why not? More weekly stability? We don't really need that. Cool, and I have some coffee here, like I said. So after this one, I know we're losing quite a few guys, but it's, you know, it's a war against Russia, what do you expect? Airline coordination? Why not? In the World War, air and ground operations were often decoupled from each other from, with the pilots minding their business and the ground troops with airs. But in, the, these, are no, in these normal times, uh, AA troops could help pilot and combat some planes should strike enemy ground troops. Why not? Oh, we linked up. Almost. Almost. Nice. So overrun them. Overrun them. How much? How strong are these guys still? They lost quite a bit of manpower. Maybe. Hopefully. They it seems like they mobilized more though. So we'll see. Quite a few divisions though. More than us. Um, they still have plenty of equipment. Plenty, 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 plenty of equipment. Even though they literally have no planes. So. Nice. Good job, guys. Let's come up here. This side could really use your help. The infantry are pushing more than fine, overall. I'm really not too worried about them. Nice. Air patrols are great. Grab that one next too. Ooh, Austria is doing a little better now. Can you go in? I dare bad, not bad, not bad. And we're probably going to get better logistics next. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Not bad. I'll go to Latvia. Ah, uh, we'll see. Nice. Get over here. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's what we like to see. Couple more divisions in the circle and destroyed. Six divisions maybe here in total. Nice. There you go. There you go. Oh, there goes Republic of China. Bye, China. Sorry, it's gonna be nice to get as well. We don't have a lot of organization right now, but that's fine. Um Gurner Teufel. Comrade student's idea of elite light infantry dropping behind enemy lines from a plane could be worth a try. Even though we're not really gonna use that at all, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, what do we want? Armor cost? Yes, proletarian steel. Pounders are the most important part of a mobile force. They are fast and can move across almost any every terrain. Yet they are mighty and strike fear in our enemies. It's a weapon worthy, well, truly worthy of the revolution. You know what? Just in case, we'll just find them again. Just because we can. Because I don't have any spirit divisions right now. Really don't want to lose territory down there, huh? Of course, it is a river crossing. Defending a bridge, huh? All right, whatever. So they're they're ma oh my gosh, their map are definitely dropped a whole bunch, just like ours, but still. Equipment wise, they are. <clears throat> They really haven't lost any um, motorized, but their infantry equipment definitely they've lost. And they're going to be out of manpower very soon. Is this a good way to take out the Russians or anybody really? No, not really. But you know what? I can't really be bothered at this point. We're doing well enough that I'm not too concerned. I know we've, we've lost a lot of guys. What, 200,000? 300,000 in the past 12 months? Makes sense. <coughs> But we can always raise conscription level. I'm not worried about it. Guna Teufel. Yes, get some more armor. Because, my gosh, we do. We need some more armor right now. And mm, we don't really need this. Motorized offensive. We need a fast type of division that can keep up with our panzers, but it's also resistant to shelling. We should use armored half trucks to deploy our infantry fast on the front lines. These half trucks or half tracks could also be used as fire support as a platform as light artillery. Not a bad idea. Oh. Oh, that's going to suck. Oh, that really sucks. Wait, how can they go to war with us without us knowing that they're going to go to war with us? Hmm. Well, that really sucks. You know, I'm going to pull you down here. Let's see. 
that literally makes no sense that we didn't get a warning at all. So let's see what we can do about this. We can race our tanks back there. We probably honestly need to. Especially when they're still in a war down here. So I don't understand that at all, but okay. Sure, why not? That's a bunch of crap. Like, how does that make any sense? Fire brigades, cool. Could get more manpower this way too, but whatever. We're fine with that. Should still be able to push into Russia, even with fewer divisions, but... Let those tank boys come quickly. Ah, they did open up another front with Hungary, though. So, <clears throat> yeah, screw Austria. I guess we don't have to go to war with the UK. We don't really want to. Please kill these guys off, please. Thank God for Brazil, which is weird. To th very weird thing for me to say. Thank God for Brazil. I don't think I'd ever say that. All right. It's time to go in then. Oh, these guys are going to definitely die, die here. Yeah. I hate finding mounts here, but we'll do the best we can. Yeah, I don't know if we're really going to be winning here now. So, I want you guys to hold. Just hold. Wait until our divisions get back here. From Austria. Or just buster it. I don't want to force the attack either. That'd be a bit extreme. Cool. Proletari proletarian Steel. Oh, I like this one. Die Rota of Front Marsch. Oh shit. Their army marches again. They're, they're unstoppable and their steel cap boots march over the enemies of the revolution. Nice. Very nice. Happy 42. Get even better logistics as well. Nice. Yeah, I was really disappointed with Austria here. Like, they should have went to war with us earlier. I mean, it makes sense for why they went to war with us now, but still. This guy's really not good in defense, but he's really good on attack. Seems pretty normal. Nice. Hey, it's Prague's ours. Nice. Good job, guys. Capture ship raiders. <laughs> Passive defense. Okay, Switzerland is probably the capital now. Bern. We'll give them Slovenia, but other than that, I mean, they didn't really do much. I mean, they were struggling the entire time. Without us, they would probably would have already died. Maybe. There you go. Oh, they're they're attacking us. Oh, oh, America's going to war. Nice. And yes, they are. Which honestly, oh, there goes the Reich. That's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Uh, honestly, I'm going to be evil here and not give Yugoslavia anything. Sorry, Yugoslavia. Oh, well. Oh, we can see this now. Oh, we've done a lot of casualties. 1.2 million. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, just in case you guys go back here. Nice. Why don't you guys stay right here? You guys go all the way over to... I oh don't know. This should be fine. Something like that. They're attacking us quite a bit, so... I am not going to complain if they want to kill themselves off. They got more manpower, though. That sucks. Uh, they got more equipment, it looks like, maybe. Yeah, especially artillery. That sucks. It's alright. Uh, fuck. The first anti-aircraft gun was a normal artillery piece fired on hot air balloons. But with the, th the threat that enemy planes are to our ground troops nowadays, guns that protect them from planes are a necessity. Pretty much. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Uh, Mighty Navy. Fleet and Bing. Which one are we going down right now? Trade interdiction. Nice. So we're done there. Trade interdiction. Visible Navy, yeah. If you want to read about these ones, please go right ahead. 
but invisible navy. The most deadly navy is one you cannot see coming. In the World War, we sell all the power of subs. With advanced technology, we can effectively starve the other capitalists. Starve the capitalists who are reliant on the colonies. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Nice. Are you back, guys back on the line? Pretty much. Not bad. Hey, this Moscow's ours. I'm gonna go back to war with those guys. Uh, we actually might be able to, huh? We have a moment here to think about it. How many divisions they got? 45,000 map Uh, you know what? Send the tanks here. Tanks by themselves might be able to stick them out. Maybe. We'll see. What are we missing? Anything? Medium tanks, SVGs are fine. That's fine. Light tanks are fine. Wait, wait, we got another thing. Nice. An invisible navy. And to follow it up with, uh, see Vilfo? We should use ourselves cautiously. They're effective. Silent hunters beneath the waves. We should do okay with those guys. Just those guys. Uh, Romania? Just in case, because he can too. It was good to have more fuel. Are we good to go? Three, two, one. We'll try it. Yeah, overall not bad. That was just a distraction. The, uh. Those other guys, the Austrians. Morning, dockyard's nice. Um, all right. Good luck with that, guys. Nice. Couch D's. We're quickly approaching four hundred thousand, while they're approaching one and a half. Well, they've already passed one and a half million, but whatever. And Petrograd has fallen. Oh, more ships? Nice. Uh, you know, the carry really want one. Some more cruisers. And there goes Albania. Goodbye, Albania. An invisible navy. Sea Valfa. An unbreakable blockade. By blockading narrow paths, we can cut off important sea routes like Gibraltar, Suez, the Bosphorus, and cities like Petrograd. Yeah, pretty much. Nancy Novgorod, thank you. It's pretty much green across the entire front, except for a few choice locations, but whatever. Actually, are we at war with you? Yeah, we are. Oh, they're doing force defense. Look at that. They were doing force defense earlier. They must have been. Better play concentration's nice. Montenegro's gone. Cool. Oh, you guys are fine. These guys. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Nice. Not much, but hey, it's something. Fins? Yeah. Oh my goodness. 32,000's not bad. Oh, the Russians are about to capitulate too, so. Yeah, Fins, you should have just given us every, all your land anyways. Not bad. We're not finding the Siberian General Government, which is fine with us, but still. Can we approach 2 million? Can we hit 2 million? Please, let us hit 2 million first. Assyria. Almost, I thought it was Austria. Brazil's killed off quite a few of them, too. It's pretty good for them. Come on, just a little more. Seriously, where are we at? 100%. Oh, uh, hopefully we get... Oh, we can't do quite 2 million. Darn it, that sucks. Oh, I got back blowing too. Sorry, everyone. We're going to take everything we can. Nice. Pretty good. Overall, pretty darn good. 
Unbreakable blockade, because I've got one more group I want us to take out. Maybe, we'll see. Should go okay-ish. But we're really going to need a big old massive air force. Um, let's get over here. Oh, hello. Wow. Why don't you just take these guys on by yourself? Probably not, honestly. But I'd love to see the enemy struggle quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll see. How many more days do we have to wait? About a few months. That's not bad. Advanced competing machines. It's only 42. Some better artillery. Over here. Uh, what do we have? Can we get some better radar, perhaps? Yes. Yes, absolutely. We get a lot of air bases here. That's going to be super, 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 super important. Alright, so we already have some planes here, which is nice. Uh, naval bombers, carry naval bombers. Mechanize is very good. Cast is good. Uh, a little more fighters. Medium tanks are fine. These guys are fine. These guys are fine. Upgrade whatever we have. Get on more of that as well. Uh, since we're here, garrisons. going to throw in a few more garrisons if we really want to. It doesn't really matter to me. There you go. Iran is going a little crazy right now, which is fine. And naval aviation ships are often vulnerable to planes, which use that fact to create a coastal staffle of planes stuck with tasks. We're destroying enemy ships? Absolutely. Advanced fire control systems, which is something I almost never do. Uh, keep going with sub stuff for now as well. 57 ships is pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. Plenty of battleships and stuff too. Awesome. Let's make these marines any bigger. It's only like we, we only have one division of these guys anyway, so. Artie, and then some more Artie. There you go. Pretty good. I'll make sure that you guys are also 40 combo with. Nice. Uh, military place wouldn't be bad. Get some recon, though. We're we'll sending all specials together. From Shabog to Portsmouth. From here to Dover. And then you two go from here to there. And you guys go from here to there. Should work. Should. Should is the correct word there. Uh, here. Agreement. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter to us. Don't bother us with that stuff again. Um, marine technology. Expand Kiel Haba. We'll probably do that one next. Kiel Haba is very good. Al Jazeera. Do that there. Um, lots of bombers. Cass. Same sort of idea. I do it over there, though. Oh, we go to another nice. Expand the kill haba. Pretty good. Tank wise. Can you actually win down here? Let's see. Yes, no, maybe so. It's a little bit of a struggle. Well, in some places, yes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna win down here, which is awesome. Cluj. Latvia's gone. Transylvania. Does Hungary have any claims on these? Because I'll give it to Hungary. Hungary has a few claims. How many divisions they got? I mean, they are mountains, which is really bad for us, but... Eh, we'll see. Especially if Hungary's there, too. Yeah, like that. Floating fortresses are very nice. Grab this one, too. Alright, not bad. Another light cruiser is very good, as well. And do we have enough planes? 2,000, huh? Plenty of casts. Well, I got some planes here. It would have to be over there. Um, their navy's gonna just be massive, though. 
Yeah, that's a massive navy. Which is gonna suck to fight. Let's train. Make sure we got plenty, 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 plenty naval bombers. Let's go and kill Harbour. No, see, well, ever don't watch other brave comrades fighting in France and Italy might have British forces on their back. We should turn every attempt made to land on our shore in another Gallipoli. And then, no, see, Hoffen. Yes, we'll do that one as well. Yeah. They're going to take out a lot of this area, but I don't really care. I just want to invade these guys successfully and then call it a campaign. Alright, so we could go to war now, I suppose. Well, actually, maybe not. Oh, we have to manually go to war. Oh, that sucks. Oh, 45 days, not bad. Yeah, we'll end up going to war with all these guys, but whatever. Oh, we need more manpower, too. Oh, uh, we can't go there, though. We have to be war, though. God dang it. Actually, you know what? I'll see you all. Mm, eh. Oh, this is pretty good. What's this one? Das mir wird sich rotfärben. We are proletarians, sailors, and heroes. The reactionaries shall come with their ships, pay with the money from the exploited, and made by unfree hands. They don't stand a chance. More screen capital ship attack. Nice. And cannons? Yes, 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 yes. In a few days, we'll have that done, too. Great. Better maintenance, perhaps? Oh, uh, it's right here, yeah. Das mir. These guys are very experienced. I mean, obviously, this is the only fleet we really have. So, huh. Oh, we don't lose it. Cool. A little bit more sub attack would be good. Uh, since we're over here, too, just in case. Get a few fighters going this way. A few naval bombers, maybe, as well. You never know. So we're talking about this anyways. Modern Blitzkrieg is nice. Cool. Alright. Not bad. That's all done. We're here too. Um, more naval invasion transport. That'd be good just in case. Just in case. Well, we can go to war with them. Probably a really bad idea, but we'll try it. And we're pretty much the masters of Europe at this point. I, mean, I think we've done really, really well. Here we got some days to recover. That's probably a really bad idea, but we'll try it anyways. Immediately there should be just... Ten. Oh yeah, these guys do. Forget about that. We should have air superiority here, though. So, they can throw in all their stuff. Oh boy, look at that. Nice. Sure, America. We, we do see that they do have a fleet over here, which is nice. Alright, so what, do we, what have we done so far? 11 destroyers, nice. Two more destroyers. Oh, it's like a carrier! I mean, it wasn't a great carrier, but hey, it's still a carrier. Just in time for that one to get done, too. Awesome. Volksmarine Division? The Volksmarine Division is one of the most loyal and best units. They fought with us all the time for the first sparks of the revolution, and we should not, not neglect such a great unit. Not oh! Nice. Are these uh, subs? Yeah. Subs putting in work, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, don't worry about that side, either. Are you repairing it, which is fine. Totally fine. Use the subs to bait out enemy ships. Wow, 38 convoys. Couple destroyers, escort cruisers, fast battleship as well. So nice. Um, for these guys, honestly, medium tanks, how are we doing? 1800, huh? There you go. Do we not have, have enough millies? Oh, we need way more tungsten, that's, what, that's what's up.
We'll be fine without it. Uh, I did bad. Thank you. There we go. That's better. Oh, there goes Mexico. Uh, what are the calories like so far? Oh, we can't see Might you say? Oh, wow, that's a lot of convoys still. Yeah, who cares about actually just killing off enemies when you just naval bomb them? Six heavy cruisers? Holy crap. Nice. Anti air upgrades? Nice. Some bit artillery. Happy 43, everybody. Nice, nice, nice. Heavy cruisers. We lost a plane, but that's on. Don't really care, I'll be honest. I guess they're repairing. Oh, yeah, you are. That's fine. Give them whatever they need. Give them whatever they need to be successful. God, I'd love to see... Actually, let me take a look at how many uh, things we've sunk. A couple planes lost. It's fine. Um, I have 187 ships. That's not bad. Three battlecruisers, eight battleships, four carriers. Not bad. They're going to be losing more and more, especially if they're out divisions. Would well, you look at that? We've already killed off like 40 divisions. Absolutely beautiful, man. Once we get our ships out there, though. Oh, they're out of manpower. And f oh, they have no fuel. I should be super easy to invade them. Practice naval invasions? Comrade Toast proposed to use naval invasions to conquer islands and faraway continents. We should let them train as soldiers in such scenarios. It might prove useful. Absolutely. You might be able to win here, maybe. Especially with Hungary being called in, so. Darn it. It's alright, though. What are you guys up to? Still repairing, maybe? Oh, we get more manpower, too. Forgot about that. Yep. Service power requirement is totally fine. Oh. Oh, wow. That was fast. Um, I do want to give Hungary their, what they really want here, so... That part of a gnat. Nice. Oh, we can see that. Wow. We've done a lot of casualties them already. Actually, America's the most casualties. We've only lost 90 guys so far. It's not bad. It's pretty good. To be honest, that's pretty darn good. Can we win without armor? We'll see. Come over here. Very good. Very good. Very good. And we're pretty ready for this war, so. You guys out yet? Jesus Christ. What are you waiting for? Nothing. Oh, there you go. Go ahead. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. Go ahead, invade. If they have no fuel, they, they can't literally do anything, right? So. And we have invaded. Nice. Well, let's go on in, boys and girls. See what we can do. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Of course, I guess they probably did send a lot of their divisions to, like, Africa. Or Canada. Yeah. What's going on in America? Howard Scott, huh? Oh, no, see Hoffman. Probably one of the easiest times I've ever invaded this group here. Oh, they got the carriers out. Get, the, get our naval bombers out. Get, our, get them out, get them out, get them out, get them out. God dang it. Oh. I want to see what the naval battle's like, but I also want to do the research. Hi. Oh, two carriers. Nice. Cool. Asi killed. Oh, that sucks, bro. Battleship sunk. Battle cruiser sunk. Carrier. 19 battle. 19 destroyers. A battleship and a heavy cruiser sunk. And a light cruiser. And a battle cruiser. And three light cruisers. And two destroyers. And a battleship. And three light cruisers. And a destroyer. Oh, my goodness. Just. Oh, another carrier's been sunk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Jimmy's not that difficult to play as in Red Blood. Love it. Oh, I dare a bad, please. There you go. Yeah, overall, not bad. America got lucky they went to war with them as well. Nice. Exactly what we wanted. No tanks needed either. 
Did we win? They're close, capitulating. 3% of the way there. Wow. Uh, I'll be honest, like, I don't deserve most of this stuff, but we'll, we'll divide this up appropriately. And by appropriately, I mean slightly appropriately. Let's see. America, you get Canada. Um, just for, uh, border gore wise so you guys get this. You know, the Madras. You, uh, I don't want to give him Iraq. America, you can have Madras presidency. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take like, all the African stuff. It'll look better that way. And all that, like I said before, I don't really care about Africa. Cool. I guess that'll be it for the campaign, maybe. Oh, we can satellite. Oh, I don't want to satellite these guys. I don't want to satellite them here. No, I don't want to deal with it. No! I don't want these people independent. God dang it. Ah! It's all right, whatever. Oh, these are looking pretty good over here. Kavzak. Kavzkaz society. But I think that's going to be it. If you want to read about these focuses, please go right ahead. We didn't have to go through all these. And honestly, this campaign was pretty darn easy. Um, so. But hey, if you enjoyed it, hey, thanks for leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how you thought this campaign went, because it was pretty darn easy. And I definitely want to return and play as Germany again someday, so... Um, yeah. Overall, really not that bad. But, like I said, let me know how you thought this campaign. But, regardless, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, like I said. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.